Hey everyone, the Run Vinny here with a requested um, tutorial. Uh, this one is about uh, making outlines and I think might also be about rim lights, I'm not entirely sure. But um, the outlines I got here are uh, using, a sim using a bit more of a complex shader than previous. But uh, this is, um, what you can see, it works on models, works on the sphere and changes depending on where you view it. So, um, what I actually found, the way I found out how to do this was uh, looking at the Rimlight um, example script, example that was uh, in in this, uh, the, the, that came with uh, this thing, um, Strumpy, that's right. Uh, it came with Strumpy and I took out a little bit of the code and repurpose it a little bit just to learn how to uh, how to do this. It's really not that difficult though, surprisingly. Okay, so what what we have here is the view direction. That's the view of the camera. So where we're viewing from, like you see how it changed for, from depending where the camera is. Yep, that's the view direction. Fresnel or Fresnel, as some people get annoyed if I don't say that. Um, this is pretty much the. Uh, this this is uh, what change, changes the uh, some some of the lighting to be like around the object. it depends on the mesh itself rather than the V space and changes the lighting and and uh, texturing depending on that you can have it just set into view rather than normal you can have both but view works fine for this yeah. the result and comes out into a power um, or power as you can see. Uh, don't need to worry about what that means. It's it's just if you know maths well enough, it's to the power of. If if it's uh, it's just one way to increase uh, a, a number with um, to like in in proportion to another number. Uh, to two values. So this for now to the power, is it result to the to the uh. Sorry. To the power of uh, this this outline position. This was originally a ramp, a uh, range, meaning it was a slider. But I I uh, took out the stops and um, now you can just slide back and forth without any uh, without really any limitations. But careful not to slide too far, otherwise you might uh, lose yourself. I've reset it. So um, what this does is in this outline position it. It uh, changes the well, some of the positioning of the outline. Uh, for instance, it it so it changes like the the borderline of it. Next thing along is the off. I've done a couple of these. So the original code was from, with except for this, it was this this for now. The power of outline color was actually there already. That changed the color of the well, the outline. Uh, also, just keep, keep a note before we go any further. In settings, change the uh, hue settings to transparent, and blend type to decal blend. That way, um, it blends the uh, alphas to whatever's behind it, without uh, uh, successfully blends it and also makes it look nice, look, look uh, ordinary when looking through it. Have some changes to it, which it could be quite fun. Uh, so let's see. Um, so we do have uh, the color color node, change the color of the outline, uh, which also unfortunately with what I set up here, changes the color of the alpha at the same time. So I set up another node so you can change the color by itself, aside from what the backlight would back or, or the base color would be. I use white just simply to um for uh, the base color, which you can easily apply another color into um, by multiplying the colors. So then what we do is I've got, I've got another, um, I've split this off, done the outline position to subtract, the one, one that will subtract the, to make an outline out of the other, you make that outline closer or further, cut off, makes that very, um, I think intensifies how cut off how cut off that that is. I have to to have pretty high there actually. No, that's intense intent. Yeah, sort of the intensity of the cut off, but 
also the intensity of the uh, what you're seeing there. So, the next thing along is uh, so we add those together, add these together to make that uh, cutoff node uh, to the power of. Once again, look, it's actually quite handy. So you can, but um, just I said, um. You change the value of one thing, change the value in equal to to the other. So, so we have to subtract each other. Now here's why things look a bit weird, but let's break it down. We got a lerp here, a lerp node. Or, which what this does is uh, it, it takes the first and second values, and changes between those values with a third value. Third value is, is mainly one to zero to one. But you can go higher or lower than that to increase the effects of either one. Um, so, so say you have a white in the argument one and black in argument two. If you have uh, the the node three it's set to to set to zero, it'll be the argument one. I think I said it was white. And it will show up white. So it's a one, and, the, and it'll go to argument two, which is set to black. And you can increase or decrease it by Depending on the value, by setting up a higher or lower the the range. So I, yes, I did the range here, so you can get specifically one to zero, or zero to one range. Um, this affects the alpha separately to uh, what I did to the diffuse and emission. Emission to make the uh, the outline stand out a bit more, um, and also not be affected by light, which is fun. Um, so what I did with how I got that um this inversion here was a I got an invert node which is a one minus v which is a which is one which is one minus the value you have that's automatically in, inverted uh in maths you'll, there's not much math you have to understand behind that apart from this, that is um inversion inverting a value. Okay, so um, the that's the alpha lerp. The other two are um, multi they are multiplied into into with uh, color uh, separately, but um, they'll go into the same uh, end end result. So you got the um, you got these uh, this this specifically affects the color. So um, that that's what changes this to be. Uh, this, this is called color final. So you change from red, all these other colors. You can have black, and so have it look pretty nice. Um, so then we will, so we multiply the color into these. We the uh, value goes into these lerp arguments. So one, the first argument is the non-inverted. Second value is the inverted and. The value is the range which uh, determines which one we go between. Yes, we can go between t both the both the arguments. We can blend we can blend them a bit. That's actually that can be quite fun. Uh, then then we link these into diffuse and emission. And and we have an effect just like this, which uh, works surprisingly well. Oh, and um, I can test something on here. This little guy. If you want the outline to be there and just be, well, one sec, it's going to change a little value. Make it a bit strong, a bit stronger. But uh, not that strong. Oh, please. And that'll do. So if you want the highlights to be showing up a bit better like this with the texture on, select your, uh, your little guy here. Um, we can add more materials on. So go to size 4, 3 and 2, the other one 2 and 3 here should should redo what, what was there before. Um, actually, what um, and these two should overlay over these previous materials. This is uh, overlaying materials by the way, uh, for those who didn't know what that was. Let's get simply just get Tails' body here. 
Uh, oh, that's why I did the same thing with that. Uh, I'll explain that in a bit. That's from a previous tutorial. You can find it's about uh, distance alphas. Turn that distance alpha off if we can. Jesus, fine. So, yes, uh, oh, DC, it's kind of trippy. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Anyway, um, take the point. This changes, it changes around, actually. I think it's got the wrong way around. Tails buddy goes here. That's the eyes. No, 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 that's, that's not quite it. Actually, yes, I was right about that. Somehow. Yeah, let's try it on here, actually. This will be a better example. So let's get another material on here. And take body again. Body texture. Just for example. And the non-touchable works on... Yeah, here we go. Overlaying the material with another material. And you got the basic black outline effect. A bit of a shading. Works really nicely on uh on some for some some styles uh and this I can you can play around with it a lot um I imagine you you can do like little distorted spheres if you add normals and uh specular maps maybe a bit of gloss and you can get some maybe make some orbs that look very nice probably even similar to uh what you can, what is already in UDK and um. That's about all I need to show for this for now. If you have any more uh, suggestions of tutorials and what you want to know, feel free to post it in the comments. Thank you very much.